In my opinion, nothing will teach you how a hand plane works better than taking apart, cleaning, and tuning up an old tool. It's not at all difficult, and you'll become intimately familiar with your hand plane by giving it a little overdue maintenance. However, resist the urge to dive into a major restoration. At most, take the plane apart, clean it up, sharpen the blade, put it back together, and try it. You may find that it works just fine as is. If its appearance really bothers you that much, you can always restore it later. So let's begin by disassembling this plane learning what all the different parts do, and giving it all a good cleaning. Start by unlocking the lever cap. This is the piece that holds the double iron assembly in place. Then we'll remove the double iron assembly and loosen the cap iron screw to separate the cap iron from the blade or iron. The cap iron serves a couple of functions. First, in these planes it helps with the adjustment of cutting depth. This slot in the cap iron engages with this protrusion on the yoke. And you can see as I move the depth adjustment wheel, that protrusion moves. It engages with this slot and will push the blade up and down in the plane. The cap iron also helps to reduce tear out by deflecting the shaving over this hump as the plane cuts and it also helps slightly to stiffen the thinner blade. Next, we'll remove the frog assembly. So we'll do that by loosening the two screws that hold the frog assembly to the main casting. And we can remove the frog assembly. We'll unscrew the depth adjusting wheel. And we'll remove this small piece here and that helps with adjusting the position of the frog in the plane. The yoke, which I showed you is for adjusting the depth, that's usually pinned in place. So we'll leave that, we won't mess with that. And we can also remove this screw here for our lever cap. That is the complete frog assembly disassembled. This screw in the back of the main casting is the frog adjustment screw. It helps to move the frog assembly forward and backward in the plane. Now some planes don't have this feature, so don't worry if your plane lacks this. Finally, we can remove the tote and the knob. So these are just held in by a threaded rod with a little brass cap nut. Sometimes that'll come off, sometimes it's a little harder to get off. So now we have the plane completely disassembled. Let's clean it up. To remove grime and grease, I use a mild degreaser, an old toothbrush, some pipe cleaners, cotton swabs, and paper towels. To remove surface rust, I use a soft wire wheel and a drill press, but you could also use a handheld drill or just some steel wool. Just don't abrade the japanned areas because you could scratch or remove the japanning or paint. A light coat of oil makes sure that everything stays free from rust. The tote and knob can just be cleaned with a mild solvent and some fine steel wool. And then a coat of wax gives them a little bit of protection and makes them feel really nice in the hand. To reassemble the plane, we just reverse the order of disassembly. I'll start by putting the tote and knob back onto the main casting. And if your plane has one,
put the frog adjusting screw back into the hole in the back of the casting. Don't, th don't thread it in too far. Now let's reassemble the frog. This is the piece that catches that frog adjusting screw. Then we'll put the adjusting wheel back on. So you want to thread this on, and it's a reverse thread, so you turn it counterclockwise to thread it on, but make sure that the ears of the yoke fall into the groove there, because that's going to allow the blade to adjust. And then I'll put this screw in here for the lever cap. Just a couple of turns. Now let's put the frog in the plane. So this little fork here needs to engage with that frog adjusting screw. There's a, a groove or a slot in that frog adjusting screw. So make sure that that fork sits in there. Now you can see how far back the frog is sitting. So we need to move it up. I won't be able to get the screws into these slots until I move the frog up a little bit. So I'm going to take my screwdriver and turn that frog adjusting screw a little bit just to move the frog up. Now you can see it's still not quite pushed up far enough. It's sitting way back, but that's far enough for now that I can get the screws that hold the frog back in. I just want to snug them until they just make contact with the frog. And what I need to do now is make sure that the frog doesn't sit too far back. You can see how the frog it hits the casting, intersects the casting there. That means the blade is going to hit that casting. So we want this surface of the frog to be flush with the rear surface of the mouth of the plane. So I'm going to turn that frog adjusting screw a few turns. And you'll see that it pushes the frog forward. I can use my fingers to feel when it's flush with the rear of the mouth. Now I can feel it's a little high here and almost flush here. So the frog's twisted a little bit. So I want to make sure that it's not twisted and then I can finish tightening those screws down to secure it firmly in place. Then we can put the blade back together. So the screw goes in the side of the cap iron that has the hollow, goes through the blade and then you just twist the two of them together. Now the bevel of the blade faces away from the cap iron. So the cap iron goes on the, the flat side of the blade. We can finger tighten that screw and we want to push the cap iron up till it's within a sixteenth of an inch or less from the edge of the blade. That's where that's going to sit and we can tighten that screw. Now I'm going to put the blade back into the plane. I want to make sure that the yoke engages with the slot and the screw of the plane, the screw of that double iron assembly needs to sit in this space here. So that sits in there. When it's sitting in right, the iron will sit flat against the frog. If you see something like this, where there's a space, then it's not seated right. So make sure that it's sitting flat against the frog and that your depth adjustment yoke is in there. And then we can put our lever cap back on and we're going to feed this screw down until it just makes contact with the lever cap. Don't screw it down too far. It should just 
make contact and then you can lock down the lever cap and your plane is reassembled. So now our plane is all cleaned up and reassembled and almost ready to try. But first we need to sharpen the blade.